Greetings, guidebushing gurus and greenhorns. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Scott with Jen Swiss, technical supervisor. I'm Bill Fletcher. I'm the Northeast Regional Sales Manager. And I think today we're going to concentrate on the cut series. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the multi-deck cut series uh, tools from uh, our partner utilities. Uh, okay. It's one of our core products uh, in uh, the carbide turning line that we offer here at Gen Swiss. Uh, and we think we've got a good array laid out here in front of us today to discuss. So yeah, we're going to have some, some multiple camera angles. We're going to do a little bit of show and tell kind of a thing uh, live right now uh, mm -hmm. on YouTube. So uh, first, uh, let's go a little bit more into um, who we are and what we do. Who we are and what we do. So uh, yeah. Gen Swiss is a company that's been focusing on Swiss style turning for the last 20 years or so. We're just about uh, 20 years in business. Uh, the whole idea was to bring uh, expertise to the industry, uh, and not only in tooling form, but also in uh, on the technical side of things, being able to offer uh, support on uh, products uh, after the sale or applications assistance. And just 20 years ago, uh, oddly enough, there was not one single place where anyone who owned a Swiss machine could go and get everything they needed. Uh, and it's quite an array of products, and 20 years later, we're pretty much that place. That's Every, the great thing. Yeah. yeah, and we kind of put together a one-stop shop thing. So anybody who's familiar with Gen Swiss as a brand might already have an understanding that we've got everything you need for Swiss style turning. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the other side of it that maybe people aren't familiar with is we do offer uh, very intensive uh, applications and assistance after the sale of the product itself. If you, yeah, if you have an application issue that you're struggling with, and in this day and age, everybody is cut short of time, technical expertise, and everybody needs help. So uh, with that being in mind, if you have any challenging applications and you need assistance, simply pick up the phone Monday through Friday between 8 and 5 o'clock. You can call our office and ask for tech support. Someone will get on the phone with you and walk through your problem. You can send us blueprints or drawings. We'll work you with work you work with you as a partner to find the best possible solution. And if you need something, we can assist in getting you the tooling you're going to need for that application. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's one of the things we pride ourselves on. There's no phone maze here when you call in. You get a person every single time you yeah. call. So uh, be be available to uh, to help you out. Uh, anytime during business hours. Um, another thing we've recently added on our website is we do a web chat. So if you've got technical applications, you can reach the tech team that way. Uh, or if you've got uh, questions on sales orders, quotes, anything like that that you might have open with us, you can always reach out to us through the chat as well and uh, uh, contact our uh, inside team at any point uh, via that method. Also, the website's pretty remarkable. It's got complete information, videos, technical assistance on our entire program. So that's just a click away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I think that kind of covers the intro there. Uh, why don't we right, just jump right into the product that we've got laid out in front of us here. It's a pretty big array. Um, primarily what we're going to show today is the cut series from Utilities. The cut series is the true Swiss style insert. This is what people think of when they think of Swiss style turning. It's the uh, parallel uh, flush mounted style insert. Uh, and we've got a couple of different flavors there that we can kind of go over. Yep, four and a cup. Uh, I guess you'd start with the three Cut 3000, our go-to general purpose series, and just happen to have a model here which can clearly show the seating arrangement for the insert in the Cut 3000 series. What you have is you have a holder system that has a pocket design built right into it. Every Cut 3000 series insert has a, a positive boss that's built directly into the insert itself. This boss matches up specifically with that pocket. That creates not only the location, but all of the stress and all of the holding occurs there. The set screws that come through that boss go into the holder. And that's what locates it, that's what holds it in place, and all the stress is there. There's no bearing surfaces anywhere that is going to disrupt any of your cutting angles, the bearing surfaces are clearly within the insert. Yes, it's uh, it's designed to not utilize the cutting edge as a datum surface for in, uh, for uh, uh, locating the edge of the insert itself. So every, all that is actually clear and relieved away uh, so that the, the cutting edges are not touching the holder at any time on the 3000 series. Um, so the benefit there is it gives you extremely good repeatability uh, we're able to get the repeatability within about four tenths uh, when you index around. Uh, and the other added benefit, as Bill's bringing up right here, um, you can actually index a tool 
that had a uh, what we'd consider kind of a catastrophic failure and index it around and still get usage of the other edge. I think we might even have a graphic we might can be able to pull up on that. Uh, give us just a moment here. Because uh, one of the great things about the system is that it's designed to fail at a place where you're only going to lose one edge. You'll protect the second cutting edge. The other thing is, we always say is, if you think it's expensive to lose inserts, try losing the holders. Exactly. And this actually prevents loss of the holder, exactly. especially during a cutoff operation, uh, where a lot of traditional cutoff tools that might use a clamping system, a top clamp style of a, of a tool holder, you're going to lose that and lose accuracy if you have the insert fail, because that clamp is going to fail. The Cut 3000 series gets you away from that. The holder is spared when you have an issue uh, of an insert uh, uh, failing. So that's one of the really good driving features of the system. The other thing is you don't need a wide variety of holders because all cut 3000 series holders that are in right position will accommodate all right position inserts in the 3000 series, all lefts, all lefts. Yeah, that's a great feature right there. And it's one that I actually take for granted because I've been selling this product now for a little over 16 years. And to me, I know and I understand that. And I keep forgetting that, you know, we've got new users out there who maybe aren't familiar. <laughs> don't quite get that. With, you know, they don't understand the benefits of the cut series tools and that it really simplifies your tooling uh, in, your, in your tool crib because you really only need that one shank and you can do everything from cut off all the way to some of the specialty things like full radius uh, grooving or full profile threading uh, and things like that. It's all done from one holder so you don't have to have a significant amount of holders uh, on your shop floor. It really simplifies things for the guys running the, uh, the machines and that's one of our mission uh, goals is to make the machinist's life easier on the shop floor. They're under a lot of pressure these days, and uh, there's less and less uh, skilled uh, uh, machinists out there, so if we can do whatever we can to make it easier on the production floor, that's, that's what we do. And it's a real workhorse line. You have every type of an application possible within the 3000 series inserts. However, you have a wide variety of holding systems that will allow you to get close to the guide bushing at certain attack angles, coolant through, non-coolant through. Um, it's basically got everything anybody's going to need in regards to any type of cut application. Yep, yep. Yeah, so the different offsets that are available really facilitate easier cutoff. That's really the goals with the offsets on some of the shanks. So those are to be paired with uh, like a left or a right hand cutoff where you've got clearance for an extended nose guide bushing or potentially uh, your pickoff spindle. And that's really driven by what your application requires if you've got a short small diameter part or a long diameter, short, uh, small diameter part, you've got the ability to make sure that you get the work holding in up close so that it's supported during the parting process. Get the insert where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. good. Going to smaller work with a similar type of system would be the Cut 16. Cut 1600 series, yeah. So it does all the exact same things as the Cut 3000, but on a micro scale. So we kind of call that our micro turning line. Uh, same situation where one holder will accommodate all the different geometries, and there's somewhere in the range of 12 standard geometries ranging from cutoff all the way through grooving and threading and front turning and back turning, you know, you name it. We have all that available. But the difference being these are all either zero radius or very small radius and really ideal for doing work when you're talking about something, say, three millimeters and under is really where it shines. But you can also utilize this product on... Uh, on some of the smaller diameter machines, uh, like say for example, like a Torno Swiss Nano, or maybe a Citizen uh, L12 is a really good situation where you might look at the 1600 series over the 3000. You could use both interchangeably between both pieces of equipment, but one is a little bit more specialized over the other. The, the 3000, we kind of consider that to be like a workhorse type of a product that'll go from small all the way up to the biggest diameters you might be doing, 32 millimeters, and even in some cases a little bigger than that with how big machines go these days. Um, where the other one would be good for 12 millimeters and under. Yeah, was it? General, yeah, 10, 12 millimeters is where you start your conversation, but really excelling when you start to get into three millimeter, one eighth, and down. Mm -hmm. That's when the 1600 really, 1600 series really excels. Yep, yep. Um, and then within that 1600 series as well is some really unique uh, holding applications, and there's one that's truly unique to the business, and that would be what we call our twin series. And this is a fabulous opportunity for somebody who has got a uh, machine that's working with smaller diameters that has limited number of stick locations and you want to add a 
um, a, an additional application. And for example, you want to do a face in a groove, a groove in a turn, and sometimes you just run out of space. Well, with the utilities twin system, you can actually put multiple applications on one holder and get a second application out of one, which makes your programming and the completion of your part excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing that's fab fabulous about it is, let's say you have an extremely long production run, and you know historically how long your inserts are going to last. Well, it's a cutoff, and I know that I'm going to be able to get 300 pieces out of that cutoff, mm -hmm. and about that time, it's going to fail. If you load that system up with two of the identical inserts, you could literally program your machine to do 280, 300 units on your first cutting, and then switch your programmer over and go to side B or the second insert, and continue cutting. It facilitates uh, running, uh, you know, unsupervised. You sure. Know, you can leave it. Oh, it lights out manufacturing, or I mean, really, the biggest goal is just to keep that machine door closed for as long as you possibly can. That's something that could help with that. That's actually one of the kinds of innovations that I really love seeing coming out of our partner utilities. They come up with some fabulous stuff like that that perhaps nobody had even really considered prior, uh, and it really does solve a lot of problems. Yeah, it's a very very cool line. So. All right, well, on to ISOs and top series. Yeah, we can talk qu quickly about those. All right. Uh, so one of my favorite products to recommend to any new user who hasn't used a utilities product prior is the multi-deck top series. Uh, so we've actually got one right here. Uh, this is a, a standard, like a front turning tool that would be simply used to turn diameter from a large size down to a smaller size. But the real trick thing about it is it's a wiper insert. It does a really good job of maintaining a very good surface finish while letting you run pretty aggressive speeds and feeds. And what's shown in the holder currently uh, on the screen now is uh, uh, the type V holder, which is reinforced. So that lets you actually do some really heavy cuts with it. See, you got a little bit of extra steel behind the pocket there supporting the cutting edge. So this is, a, this is the little insert that could. It's not a very big <laughs> insert, but man, you can really do some nice work with it. Uh, and the great thing is, is it gets you to be able to drop parts that are complete in one handling because you don't have to do any finishing, polishing, or burnishing or anything like that afterwards. You get a very nice finish right out of the machine. And in most cases, you won't have to do any kind of secondary work on the, uh, uh, on the workpiece if you're using the multi-deck top series tool. So it's a really good one that if you're new to Swiss turning and haven't really gotten familiar with the utilities line yet, it's kind of one of the ones that I always recommend going to first and giving it a shot because it's available in all the very uh, resilient carbides that are available, so the UHM-10 and the UHM-20, and it's also got the high-tech TX Plus coating in many cases too. Fabulous for high heat application. Cover Yes, and it covers a lot of the, the common materials that you're seeing in uh, uh, Swiss machines like stainless, your, your medical grade stainless steels, yeah. 6AL4V. Uh, it's an outstanding coating for that. But it was originally developed for like aerospace high nickel alloys. Uh, so it's also a really good uh, uh, coating to utilize on products like that. Or Fabulous heat barrier that just literally will not let the heat get through to the matrix below and keeps the original keeps the original intent of that insert intact mm -hmm. and that. But that top series is outstanding because not only is it a fabulous turning tool, but it does a, that secondary cutting application that actually removes the mountaintops mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> and leaves an amazing surface finish just for a turned product. Yep, yep. Uh, on the other side, the kind of some of the more generic product there, or I shouldn't even say generic because it's not, it's a highly curated <laughs> ISO curated? product line. Curated, I like okay. to say, I like to All use right. that word for it. Um, it's, uh, it's an ISO turning line, so some of the common turning geometries like CCGT, CCMT, DC, and so on, uh, we have all that kind of product available as well. But what's really key about it is it's all very sharp and very small radii. So we're not going to have like a 32 thousandths nose radius on any of our products. These are all going to be somewhere in the realm of eight or smaller. Uh, that's really where the vast majority is. And they're all going to be very sharp edge conditions. So it's, all, again, all aimed at those stringy, hard-to-control materials that are commonly being run in your CNC Swiss lathes. Yeah, inc incredibly well-supported insert. High polish on the face for, yeah. again, low friction, free cutting. Uh, so it's good for small diameters as well. That's an actually a very unique holder as well. That's one of the new uh, special... Uh, seating arrangements where it's not held in by a Torx screw. It's actually being held in by a, I guess you would call it a cam. That's it's actually cam lock. A yep. Cam lock, which is actually uh, accentuated by a torque wrench, which is actually driving a pivot point, which is actually securing 
the insert into the holder. So it's a good fast change solution yep. or quick change. You can actually leave the holder in the machine and uh, disengage and re-engage inserts after indexing without using a screwdriver yep. uh, to, to release the insert. You're releasing it from the cam in the back uh, mm -hmm. and torquing it to a very specific uh, torque spec, which is actually noted on the holder. Mm -hmm. And you also have some quick change options as well in the, sh in the uh, shorter holder. Yeah, system. so some of the existing uh, products that are out there on the market for quick change on the machines involve a tool plate yep. where you've got a split wedge design. We have an upper stop and a lower and a lower wedge. So we've got an entire product line that's compatible with systems like that where uh, you would use our half of the shank on the lower part of the wedge to install onto your tooling uh, uh, gang plate uh, and utilize the quick change that you might already have uh, maybe it was delivered from the manufacturer with the machine when uh -huh. you purchased it. Uh, but now it gives you the option to use any of the utilities geometry uh, in your in your production capabilities. So gives you a little versatility. Some more versatility. I don't so, like I don't like uh, personally being pigeonholed in and locked into any one thing. I like to have some some flexibility because you never know what's going to come through that door, especially if you're doing you know job shop work and that sort of thing. You never know what kind of solutions you're going to need and who you're going to have to get it from. So. That mm -hmm. gives you more flexibility there. This is some some really interesting uh, technology that has been developed for the, uh, the the ability of coolant delivery and a very unique manufacturing technique for creating a holder. Yeah, this one's really exciting. So we have a new line of holders called the Gold Line, and this one here that's actually uh, front and center initially. Uh, I got my hand on here is actually for cutoff. It's aimed at cutoff, and the uh, uh, the big driving feature behind it is we've got a new manufacturing technology that allows us to put coolant through the, the back of the carbide itself, uh, where previously it would only be able to be delivered above on the cutting edge. So what this does is it gets coolant down inside that micro cut. You might be using a one and a half millimeter, two millimeter cutoff tool, and previously getting coolant to jet down in there and really get mm -hmm. into that cutting edge was difficult. Uh, now the, the gold line holder actually brings the coolant down inside the cut alongside the carbide and keeps that cutting edge even more protected than previously. So what you find is that if you find you get a cutoff tool that you really like and it's performing really, really well, you put it into a gold line holder and now your tool life just increases because you're able to get coolant to the, to the cut when you reach near center line on your bar stock where the heat builds up because now your surface speed is getting really, really slow. So it kind of staves off that heat spike that you get when you reach center. And that really helps with tool life tremendously. So if you pair that with a gold line holder and a TX coating on, uh, on that particular product, you just get much better tool life. Yeah, the model that was created uh, to show this, you can actually see the coolant channels on this. You could take this out for a second. You can actually see the blue lines going through. They're coming in from the top. You're getting one fluid flow that is going through and funneling right to the rear here. And then you've got another coolant channel which is firing down the face. Now if I put that insert in there, you can clearly see you're getting a backwash firing towards the cutting edge, driving everything away, and you've got another one going down the face of it. So you've really got a phenomenal coolant delivery system. And that new manufacturing technology would allow it now allows you to be able to deliver coolant in places you've never been able to get it before. it's a machining process that just wasn't a, wasn't possible before yeah. so we're able to really make some interesting stuff that way that's it's cool. fantastic and exciting yeah and that's the, also available for some of the iso specs and then well this one here is the multi-deck top that we were just yeah. talking okay. about moments ago so the multi-deck top again being one of my favorite products to recommend to new users we have a gold line holder for that now and that actually ramps up the coolant delivery on that just as well. You've got jets above for chip control and you've got jets below to keep the lubricity and the coolant on the cutting edge itself because it's in the cut, literally in the cut with the carbide. Really cool. So that pairs up well with high pressure coolant systems which have become pretty much a standard on all Swiss machines over the sure. last 20 years. So it's, it's actually pretty rare that uh, I ever encounter anybody who doesn't have high pressure coolant okay. capability on their, uh, on their equipment these days. Yeah. And we would be remiss also if we didn't at least mention a fabulous thread whirling. We'll definitely go into some more detail on that. We do have another YouTube Program. video, and we do have another YouTube video uh, up on our channel currently that really goes into some severe detail on thread whirling and what we're able to offer. But that's another major product line for us. We do uh, a ton of that, especially with obviously the medical industry where you've got uh, irregular threads that are not symmetrical and they require large amounts of material removal. Thread whirling is an expertise of ours. We're able to get you set up with that from start to finish. Uh, whether you need the live tooling, whether you need the ring inserts, we're able to do all that. Very cool.
So I think lastly, maybe talk a little bit about some of the turning systems that and, we offer. And Scott will all accuse me of saying this has got to be Bill, one of Bill Fletcher's this favorite. This is Bill Fletcher's. Tool. This Wait, is Bill Fletcher's my favorite. favorite tool system. <laughs> if you have a, an older model machine that does not have a Y-axis adjustment, there is a fabulous tool system that's created by utilities to give you that. What it does is it provides you with a mechanical opportunity to have an, a Y-axis uh, adjustment into your machine. What you'll do is, as you can see, this thing is stacked up into multiple pieces. You have a base plate in the block. This is unique to the particular machine that it's going to go in. That would be your first piece. Depending upon where you want to locate your insert and what type of work you want to do, you can either put your work piece directly onto the holder, or you can either use a 10, 20, or 30 millimeter yep. spacer yep. to advance your working system to get it out closer to your point of contact, give you greater reach. Now, on the face where you actually put your working, you can put ISOs, you can put tops, you can put uh, uh, cut 3000 series, you can use bore bars. There's almost nothing you can't do in a turning application that you can't equip one of these special tooling faces on. How that tooling face works is that there are four bolts that will hold it to the spacers and or the uh, holder system. By loosening that, You'll see in the middle that there is a holder and there is a lock hole in the back and there is an eccentric bolt which essentially is a cam. This fits in to that hole and locks down. By loosening the four bolts, by turning this, you will be able to actually see the mechanical movement of the faceplate moving up and down. You will get a full 20 up and a full 20 thou down, yeah, I think giving you a window of 40. Yeah, about 40, 40, thou. 40 I think thou. It's, I think it's officially about a millimeter is, yeah. is what it is. So, yeah, it, it gives you some good range. And this isn't even really one that necessarily needs to be used on a machine that doesn't have a subspindle Y-axis. You could use it on one where you have a Y-axis as well. Sometimes it's nicer to dial it in that way rather than using your programming mm -hmm. and, and making offsets in the control. Yeah. Um, that way there's no confusion down the road when you have different operators change out on the same machine. So... Yeah, it really does. It gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. You dial it in, lock it down, remove, and now you're good to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it also comes with a number of different uh, features as well. You can work on the inside. You can work on the outside uh, as well for giving you uh, some extra pass on your um, broad stock available with either a coolant through the system itself or you can add a coolant attachment mm -hmm. with an adjustment on the top. Mm -hmm. But uh, really outstanding. Good complete uh, system, really. It mm. covers a whole wide range of machines that are out there, old and new, uh, mm. and, and gives you a much better way of turning on the subspindle. I mean, the, the way that a lot of folks would be doing it would might be to use a round shank boring bar, right. doing yeah. it with like a DCGT in it, doing an OD turn with something that's not really meant to be doing an OD turn with it. This is more rigid and strong uh, for that kind of an operation as well, and, and then also gives you the adjustability. So it's, uh, it's a nice system for, for doing subspindle work. Being a modular unit is great, too. Once you have the base plate, build anything you want on the front of it. Yep, yep. And that really works out. Or down the road, you have a different op operation you got to do. That's kind of why I really like the Cut 3000 series one we have here, because mm -hmm. you can buy that one setup and then just change the carbide. Change, change the insert, And you can, do, you can do threading one day, and the next day you might have to do a, a groove on the subspindle or a face turn, and you just change the insert, and the holder still does it for you. Perfect. So that's, that's okay. a really nice, versatile one there. Nice. All right. Well, I think we've pretty much covered the cut series and the ISO, and that's pretty much our stick tool program. Okay. And Excellent. That, so, we're, uh, looks like we got it. So, with that, uh, next week, uh, broaching. Broaching. Near, near and dear to my heart. So, uh, with that being said, you all set? Yeah. Great. Well, keep the coolant flowing, keep the chips rolling. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.